Hi guys, today I want to show you the Detmold campus, briefly. Okay, we have six main buildings in the campus and two more buildings for media production and creative in institute, just five minutes far from the campus in the same street, just beside the students' union. The building number one and four is for classes, even though they have some seminar rooms and some laboratories inside them, like for example, building number four has a room for architecture students for people who wants to use the CNC machines and 3D prints. The building number two is the main building in the campus where the cafeteria, library, workshops, professors' rooms, the showroom, and so many other things are inside this building. For example, there is a room for people who are interested in painting or they have a painting course for people they are uh, designing their new architecture for people they have room for people for carpenting basically they have a room for every need students might have you have access to all workshops inside this building and from the third floor you have a beautiful view from the campus the third building is basically for fun. There is a coffee shop there and so many fun activities are held here in building number three. For example, when there is an event or there is a graduation party, people party here and there is a cuisine also there. We also have a seminar room there. Sometimes professors and students use it. I already told you about building number four. It's for classes, some workshops and so many other stuff about, about architecture. And the building number five is for civil engineering. There are a lot of facilities, machines, robotics, and computers there that civil engineers use them for their own study. They have a machine to calculate or measure the resistance of the metal, so and so many other stuff. So there's a it's a workshop for civil engineers. Every year there is a day that university opens the door for public. Uh, everybody can come. And visit different part, different parts of the university, and decide their children or they own some students from high school comes and they see the university and they decide whether they want to study here in our university or not. So in this day, I went there and I interviewed some people uh, and I interviewed a professor. So we go listen to their opinion about the university. What do they feel about our university and studying here? I hope you enjoy it. Hi, my name is Ulrich Neta. I'm a professor of product design and ergonomics human factors here. Um, mainly teaching in interior architecture, but also interdisciplinary. And the day, uh, the open days here are um, always one of the main events in the year because we show what we are doing, of course, to win new students. What it, what uh, we of course like to do because we like new students. <laughs> And uh, we, did, we, we did here, I present some very special project and we did a design sprint in just two days with interdisciplinary, with uh, students from interior, from architecture, from um, urban planning, from media production and from uh, entrepreneurship in Lemgo, which is international. So it was an English speaking course and it was a two days very tough sprint in the teams, uh, lots of fun with a um, tiny house interior developing and constructing in one-to-one -one scale models. Uh, lots of fun, we show it here. First day here, uh, I think this building here is pretty cool. Um, oh, sorry, uh, I think uh, this building here was quite nice, nice experience here. Um, I like the whole building and how it's, how it's built, also with the lightning. 
and it's pretty pretty cool, nice experience. Okay. What do you think about the Mensa or uh, the facilities, like uh, the library, like yeah. uh, library? Uh, I don't I don't uh, know about the library, but um, the Mensa is pretty cool. But I guess it's a little bit <laughs> tiny for that much uh, students here. Okay. So, um, but it's nice, nice. Please tell us your feelings about our university. Oh, I think TSHL is a pretty amazing university for whoever is aspiring for interior architecture. That's the only thing that I've been introduced to here. So the courses are amazing. The faculties are very supportive and very accommodating. I don't speak German, so for me it's a big thing that they are really taking care of the fact that I speak English. And they have been putting up these extra hours to just make sure that I get along. And the university has also helped me make a lot of friends because of their programs and events and uh, special organizations like ASTA and Student Body Program. So I think, yeah, pretty good, amazing experience. That's great. Um, mm -hmm. Please introduce yourself. Okay. Uh, I'm Ila. I am an exchange student from India. I'm only here for this semester. And I've been here for two months now, two more months to go. And I'm studying interior architecture. The building number six is Asta. It's a student union. And also there's a shop inside this Asta that you can go there and buy some uh, raw material for your uh, market. Usually architect students uh, go there for to buy their own material for their own market and projects. Price wise is good for students and it's cheaper compared to other shops inside the city. About the buildings number 7 and 8, I will make a different video for them. They are a little bit different than these 6 uh, uh, buildings inside the campus. And these 2 buildings, 7 and 8, they are new, completely new. Uh, number 7 is opened 2021. Uh, the first year I, 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 I came to Germany and this, we just had the opening for the building number 8 just a few months ago. For the next video, we will check the cafeteria and Mensa in our university. So don't miss the next video. See you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.